Hello everyone, Morphix16 here with a Wi-Fi battle for you, and this is round one of Dangerous 36 Evans Tournament. And this is a UU battle versus Don't Known Hero from YouTube. I'll put his link in the description box. You can check him out. He has pretty good videos. He also recorded this battle too, so that's awesome. But before this battle begins, I want to give a huge shout out to Ice2K1 for having five Pokemon in my team. But here we go. I'll be off a drape on Hilly Stuff with Banet. I have no clue what he's going to do, but he tricks me, so I'm taking the choice scarf, and that's not too good. Because now I'm locked into choice no, I'm locked into knockoff, so I can't attack that thing again. So I switch out to my special wall, Muck. He's under waves, but Muck doesn't really care about being paralyzed, and then he uses knockoff. But because of Muck's ability is sticky hold, it doesn't knock off its left so that's pretty nice. We both laughed at that. But uh, I just set up a curse and I will set up my second curse now as he switches into a Needle Queen. And uh, I go for a Ice Punch and as you see, as I go first, I know he's going to use Roar and indeed he does use Roar and rolls me out to a Sharpedo. And I'm just going to go for a waterfall. I haven't seen any water types yet. But I'm just going to go for the waterfall. And he's thinking and thinking and eventually he sends out his aggron. So I go for waterfall and that will take out the uh, aggron. That's pretty nice that I got rid of that thing. Because it can be annoying. And now he sends out his torpedo and I can't see stay in here. So I'll go to Muck to take the hidden power grass, I assume, because it's not very effective against Muck. And it would be pretty stupid to have the hidden power poison. But he goes for a crunch and it does a lot of damage. And I go for a curse, but because of the defense drop, I can't stay in on Torpedo. So I'll have to switch now. So I go to my own Torpedo like a Death Father. Because I don't want to lose Muck yet. And I'll, yeah, I'll let's see, leave Sharpedo in as a death fire, basically. I don't really need it right now. At the moment. So I got a hit molly to finish it off with a Mac Punch. But uh, he predicts, predicts that then goes to Banette. And as you know, fighting attacks doesn't work against ghost types. So I have to switch now. Or I could have stayed in, but here I make a terrible misplay. I go to Mac instead of Drapion. That's what I should have done, and I stay stay in here for some reason to curse up. Or use Shadow Sneak. But it doesn't do anything to Banette, and I have to switch now. So what I should have done, I should have gone to Drapion in the first place. Because then uh, Mac would have been almost at full health, and uh, Drapion... Also, almost at full full health, and I also did a pretty, pretty big mistake here, setting up Toxic Pipe because I know that if Needle Queen come switches out and comes in again, the Toxic Pipe will be removed. So I don't know what I was thinking here. It was a terrible misplay by my part. So I got to roll on to take the Earthquake, but he used the Stealth Rock. Which is annoying because I have a Glaceon on my team and it will hurt it a lot. So I go for the Shadow Ball. Yes, I, I haven't I haven't seen any normal types yet. So I go for the Thunderbolt. That's nearly half. Too bad I didn't put the Life Orb on this Rodon as it was intended to do. Actually, so I go for another Thunderbolt. And that nearly takes out Knocked Owl, but he roots up. So that's not too good. But I'm just going to stay in here and use Thunderbolt. I don't want to overbreak. I want to get some damage on that knocked out. If he uses Nightshade, breaking me to switch or something. So, but he switches into Needle Queen, which you know, electric attacks doesn't work on Needle Queen. But I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. But he goes back to knocked out. And here I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt. Or is it Reflect I'm going to go for? Some of that moves. I, 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 I was going for the Reflect. He really stops and now he's at full health. 
But I will switch now because yeah, I can't really hurt that thing because if we just screw, 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 then it will be annoying. And he uses night chain now, and that is yeah. I will just go for ice beam to get any damage on the Noctowl before glazing on dice because and it almost takes out Noctowl and it takes me out with a night chain. So that's not too good. So I go to Hitmonlee, and I, in case he switches to Banet, I will go for a Stone Edge. And that's what I do, and it hits, and that takes out the Knockdown. Hitmonlee is pretty nice. It's a very good Pokemon, I don't know why many people don't use it. But it's just awesome, in my opinion. So I go for the Earthquake on... Nidoqueen, and that does a lot of damage to Nidoqueen, and he roars me out, thank, thank you. And so it roars me away, me away to Mach, and I will just leave Mach in as a death fodder here, because Mach is not too useful right now. And he just then takes out Mach, and now we go for Hippoly, just to use Earthquake on it. To finish off uh, Nido Queen, and down goes Nido Queen. And then he decides to send out Sharpedo, and I'm just going to go for a Mac, Mac Punch and finish off Sharpedo. So that's nice that Imolia taking on some guys now. And uh, then he sends out Panette again, and I can stay in for the Shadow Sneak. So I go to Drapion to take it, and it takes it extremely well, but I'm short, short, short scarf now. So I'm going to go for the crunch, knowing that I can, that I can outspeed a lot of things, and I get a crit on the crunch, which, you uh, know, it was not, it didn't help me a lot, but it was annoying for him, I guess. He exits her and takes out the Drapion, I guess, it is, it's scarf, so I go to Rodon to take the Exisar and go for Shadow Ball, and that will take out the Fins here. Unfortunately, he has his Banette left, and that is immune to Mach Punch, so he will just finish off Rodon with a Shadow Sneak, and then he will finish off Hitmonlee with a Shadow Sneak too. He's gonna get a crit on this Shadow Sneak, but I don't think it matters, judging how much it did to uh, Mach, and Mach as better defense than his money, so that was a very good game done on Hero, epic match, I wish you good luck in the future, thank you.